Hello, welcome to another video by Moxa Marine. In this video, I'm uh, starting up a, a 5.7 liter engine, it's a Volvo Penta. Actually, it was a 5.0 that I converted to a 5.7. So I'm um, starting up for the very first time and um, the water pressure coming from my house is too powerful for this uh, water pump. It tends to spray out, um, let me explain this a little better. So this pump normally sucks water from the out drive up into the engine. It's not uh, really designed to have pressure applied to it. So when I put water pressure on this hose, this coming hose, this incoming hose, it tends to blow this fitting out and then it starts leaking real bad. And that's because it's too much pressure on the inlet. So what I had to do is uh, use this three-way three -way device here. And I've got this extra garden hose here running off to the side. And so when I turn the water on, I just let that bleed off the excess pressure. And then I slowly open that to get water to the engine until it, uh, and make sure it just doesn't leak out the front. So uh, and it's, once the engine's running, I'll, I'll crack that open further so it can suck more water in. But um, that's how I had to do the water. But that's not what this video is about. So um, I'm about to first start it for the first time. And this uh, particular engine has this nice power distribution unit on top of the engine. It's a multi-port fuel injection. And um, so it's got three relays, actually four. That's a spare relay. If you look right here, it's a spare relay. So it really doesn't do anything. It's just an extra. So you got a start relay. That's basically your starter relay. All it does is turn your starter on. You got an ignition relay and you got a fuel pump relay. The ignition relay is really not the proper name for it. It does do ignition, but it also turns on the computer. It turns on any electronics in the engine or any electronics in the system other than the fuel pump. So then once the computer is powered up, you'll hear maybe the idle air control motor moving. You'll hear some clicking. Um, maybe the, I'm not sure what else that will make noise, but anyway, you'll hear some clicking noises and that's the uh, ignition relay turn on. And then you'll, when the computer uh, is ready, it primes the fuel pump for about three, two or three seconds. So you hear the fuel pump relay click on and then click back off. So I've removed all the relays just so you could see what I was showing you. Um, so I'm about to put the start relay back in. And that's the biggest one. That's this one right here. And it goes like so. Let's see if I can push it down in there. So that's the start relay. Then the ignition relay, the, the relays are the same, so you don't have to worry about getting them out of, in the wrong place. Uh, let's see, it goes like this. So that's the ignition relay. Sorry about that. Um, I had left the ignition on, though it was the computer was beeping the horn telling me that uh, it was ready to start. So anyway, um, this is the ignition relay, and your, it's basically the computer or the relay that turns on your, your, multi, your MEFI-4 computer right here. And um, so when you, first, when you first turn it on, it'll sound the horn as a horn check. And then uh, it'll prime the pump. It'll prime the fuel pump for a couple of seconds and turn it off. But when I first start engines up, I don't want the pump prime because I'm trying to just see if it'll fire up. Just I just want to know if it, I've got the timing right, if I've got the distributor in right, if all my electronics are right. So what I'm going to do right now is pour raw gasoline in that throttle body, maybe about a tablespoon full and then try to crank this thing up. It'll run for maybe a second or two just to let me know that it's ready to run. Okay, I've got the water flowing. I've got a little bit of gasoline primed in it. Let's see if this thing starts up. I'm going to have to use two hands here to hold my... I've got a key system here. It's uh, my hot, hot wire circuit for the uh, ignition. So I'm going to go ahead and try to start it this way. Start for the camera work. Okay, as I was saying, I uh, couldn't really show it on camera, but um, so I put poor raw gas in the throttle body. I did not have the uh, fuel pump really installed. I then cranked it over with the, uh, my little uh, my hot wire brick mechanism here and the engine fired up, ran for about a second and a half, two seconds and then quit off and then shut off. So um, at that time, I knew that the ignition worked, knew the computer was running and the computer had control of the engine. So it's now time to get the uh, fuel system working. So. I, let, I took a jumper wire and ran it between the terminal 30 and 87. 87 is over here on the far corner, right there on that corner. And uh, you get that, if you look on the side of the relay, you can tell from the contact. So 30 and 87A is the state when the, energy, when the relay is not powered. When the relay is turned on, 30 to 87 is your closed contact. So if you look on the bottom, you should, you'll see pin 30, which is, 30 is right here by my finger and the 87 is down here. So if you put a jumper between 30 and 87 in the base, in the base of the relay, you run your fuel pump. And so I've just primed this fuel, let the fuel pump run for about a minute with this jumper wire and, I, and that primed the system. And then I checked, um, there's a Schrader valve right down here. I took the cap off the Schrader valve and then just touched the tip of the uh, 
the uh, needle valve in there with my finger and, and fuel pressure did come out or fuel did come out so it's under pressure so it's now ready to run so at this time all i have to do is put the fuel pump relay back in and fire it up and i'm pretty sure it'll crank up and stay go ahead do it again one more time Crankshaft's definitely bent. What a bunch of bullshit.